Drug and alcohol abuse can destroy lives, but schools and community groups can help reduce the harm. That's the message Ben Burksang shared in his keynote address at this substance abuse workshop. He says addiction causes big problems in society that need to be addressed. What we do know in New Zealand is that half of the people that develop a substance dependence disorder um, will have developed it by the time they're 19 years of age, so there's a lot more that we can do to be able to support our young people better. About 50 people from the local police, community groups and schools around Otago attended. Berksang wants the city to be a safe place where teens can get the support they need in relation to drugs and alcohol. And he's not alone, with one teacher convinced that schools can significantly influence pupils. What schools can do is, uh, is to develop stronger connections with their kids, um, create you know, alcohol-free environments and, um, and take the focus more away from this media saturation of, of glamour and fun and risk-taking. Leonard and Berksang agree that it's important to look out for youth during their risk-taking teenage years. That's because some kids end up with substance abuse problems that stunt them during a critical period of development. We notice later on in life if they're trying to make changes that they don't necessarily have developed all of the skills that they needed to have developed during those teenage years so it's not just the physical health harms that can come from that but also the impact are in their social life and, and in their wider context. This workshop is a collaborative effort from groups like Public Health South and BASE. It ties into a government trial targeting social issues in South Dunedin. So organisers hope this is just one step in a wider plan to address drug and alcohol harm throughout the city. David DeLorean, 39 Dunedin News.